Hello, my beautiful Aquarius! Welcome to one of our special readings. As you know, special readings are the one required by you. Posted in the month when we are recording it. And the question looks like this, loves. Everyone has someone from the past. Could be an ex, could be someone dear to you. And definitely today we are tapping into the past energies, past person. Where they are, do they still thinking of you? Do they still want to meet you again or see you again? Or should you just move on? Will they move on? Are they moved on? Or what else? So if you want a course that looks for some answers regards the past, this might be a reading. If you don't look for anything from your past, just move along as we speak now. Let's allow Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus what we have for you. And of course, how the energies are there from this past person. A past person could be an ex, partner, a past friend, someone who you've been probably either romantically, either friendship-wise involved, or could be even someone very dear to you, loves. Whatever comes, we'll be shared with you. So let's see, Aquarians. We have Temperance. We have Two of Swords, we have King of Swords, and we have Six of Cups. Definitely you are not talking with this person, and definitely there is a wish of come along. Do they want to come back? Yes. For some of you, it could be mutual, but I don't see communication. For some of you, of course, you might have been dealing here with someone who, who was unavailable or emotional unavailable. For some of you, you could be involved with someone who are very jealous on you or on the things you are dealing or doing. Someone here also who could done certain things for selfish reasons, whatever those are. Let's see. Two of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Lovers. So only two major arcanas with the lovers and temperance. We have in a very short time a full moon in the Sag. For some of you, my deal here with the Sag or a Gemini could be another air sign or new moon in Gemini, full moon in Sag, which that is the month of June. It's kind of like. I felt left out in the cold, but I'm still waiting. And somebody here definitely looks for a comeback. The Five of Pentacles. Moon. Too many secrets, too many things that felt very, very strong out there. Somebody here could have the moon in Pisces or moon in Virgo. Because somebody here definitely felt the need to walk away. Water energy, Queen of Cups. Or was it very hard to accept that things are the way they are. Yes, yeah, Six of Swords. Why you are in not speaking terms? Why you are not in the speaking terms? Judgment. 
Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups. There's some some sort of regret. For some of you, you could have um, an argument with this person. As we've seen the Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. The Five of Wands is the one missing. Could be also some other people involved in the mix. But definitely here I see regret. And Nine of Swords but Reverse. Somebody here is just kind of doesn't want to think any longer. It's like I'm done thinking. The Seven of Pentacles here. Tower. King of Wands. Four of Cups. Three of Swords. I definitely see here certain things here came out and seem very unexpectedly either for you either for them magician somebody here definitely wanted other things or brought to the table other things absolutely Somebody here needed to change somehow, but they were not willing to, or they were not wanted to. It seems here that the change will happen, but in the long run, might not be the case for some of you, because I see here a very long time a very long time will pass till somebody here will will change or will do certain things but I feel here eventually things will move forward six of wands what's the choice here for with the lovers six of wands full page of cups Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords. There's something here about this connection that many, many of you even though you will get over it or even they will get over it doesn't feel here that you you will get along in the long run I feel here there, there are certain differences will be managed somehow, but at, at the same time you will keep this person at the distance, absolutely. And it seems here that eventually this connection will not continue, will not continue. Unless either you, either them will see certain differences or other differences. It seems here for some of you, whoever is this person, at one point, if you were very close to each other, it's like over the time, even though you will cross the path at one, po uh, at one point in this life, eventually you will... You'll be very distant or you will live at the distance or will be very away from each other. It's just like you you could get along, it, you could get again, you could see this person again, 
but I don't see a, a true comeback. It's more likely, for example, for some of you, you live in one place, another. It's, it's like I see you living on different continents, kind of. It's like very, very distance, big distance between you two. Somebody here might not get the other person. For some of you, you might not get this person. They might not get you. But I definitely see here there will be a, some sort of come around. But more likely come around to move on. Come around to get away somehow. Before we go into the workouts, let's see the advice here from Spirit regards this connection. Sun, Empress, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. For some of you, if this were the mother of your kids or there was something here that you can't see back, there is something new. There is a new beginning in your life and in their life. It's like you both will have different lives. And from now on, it's kind of like you, you could be coming across, but definitely you will have your life somewhere. They will have their life somewhere else. It's like you in this life cross the path because you know each other from another past life. But there is movement. There's somehow movement here. For some of you, getting away from this person will be very hard, but at the same time, liberating. At the same time, it's just like For some of you, you might not even see this person ever, but it seems here that from afar you will see how they do or where they are or what they're doing. Because I see here for many, many of you, of course, you might not speak with this person again, but definitely I see you seeing them or they seeing you how you are doing in life or how you will be in life. Whatever that speaks to you, loves. And the advice we have, choosing your path and uncovering treasure beneath the surface lakes of great bounty. For some of you, this person show you a different way to see life, what you see, what you showing them to see a different way their life. It's like you could teach each other or, or you could show each other a whole different life. For some of you, this person show you what really matters in life or you show them what really matters in life or where hold the, the most important things or what are the most important things. Clear the past, heal the present and embracing the, you choose me as. Definitely I see here you, for some of you, you could cry a lot when you separated or when you let go this person, but it's kind of like you both choose your ways to go with your life. You both change the way you've seen, but with the rejuvenating rain, definitely something here was erased. Yeah. Grounding for some of you, go deep, explore your roots. Somebody here choose um, a path that is deeper for them 
done for you. You know, sometimes people choose, let's say, to live in a monastery and they don't want to have a family, they just want to serve the God. And other people love to focus on their career and they just choose the career. Like somebody here definitely got certain things that the other person could not understand. It's kind of like we came in this life to end the contract, then we got to move forward. And the contract ended when we choose what we got to do next. So definitely I feel here you both been through a big change and definitely I see different path. So Aquarius, whew, that's what I have. That's not mean that you're not loving this person or not caring about this person or you are not happy for their own life or for whatever they do. That's not the thing. It's because you both go in different directions or you choose different path. Okay. And that being said, loves, thank you for coming forward. Blessings. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.